Hey guys, this is TMF Style. I'm Jose Zuniga, and for today, I wanted to bring you something a little bit different. I want to bring you a couple tips that any gentleman can follow. And by what I mean by any gentleman is, you know, if you've been following our channel or basically following any blog, you know that you know following certain tips requires money, and you know a lot of it requires tailoring, and it's it's kind of a, you know men's work can get very expensive very quick. So what I wanted to do for this video was give you a couple tips that are free, any gentleman can follow, and not only can follow but should follow. You know, these tips are essential and I see it all the time. And it, and it upsets me because it really deters from that perfect image. And they're very simple tips and again, it costs nothing to you except a little extra effort from your part. So let's get started. First and foremost is the shirt planking. I see this all the time and to be honest, it happens to me sometimes during the day but I am always cautious to be straightening it out. And this is the most simplest thing. You always wanna make sure your shirt planket and your trouser button or at least the center, you know, where, where the zipper is, aligns. I hate seeing when your trouser and your shirt blanket are disaligned and it just looks sloppy. It is a very simple thing. You just have to be cautious. You know, make sure everything's centered and as you can see it looks sloppy when it's not done. Again, very simple thing to do and it doesn't matter how well your fit, clothes fit or not, this can make you look a little bit more put together. The next is your shirt. I mean, this, this will require a little bit more money but to be honest, a lot of shirts actually already come with collar stays. So you want to make sure, you know, Probably 90% of your shirts have collar stay slots and what that is if you flip the collar open you'll see some slots inside as you can see right now and in there you're supposed to stick in collar stays. Usually magnetic ones are the best to keep your shirt collar up and it's like a $20 investment. However, most shirts come with their own plastic collar stays which if you don't want to waste money and want to keep it all free like I'm saying free tips you can at least use these plastic ones because they will help you keep the collar straight. That's another pet peeve of mine, seeing a flappy collar. I mean, the plastic collars will not help you keep the collar standing straight up, but they will help you keep the collar straight. So in other words, your collar won't look all bacon-y, if you want to say, you know, like that, like the bacon collar you get on, on, on t-shirts? Well, that effect happens to cheap shirt collars sometimes. So inserting a collar stay will help you straighten that out. That's another very simple tip and a lot of shirts come with them for free, so why not use them? The next is your, is your tie. Now this is another pet peeve of mine. Now, first of all, you wanna make sure you, you push your tie all the way up. I see this all the time of gentlemen just, they do their tie, they do a horrible knot by the way, and then on top of that, they don't even push it all the way to the top. All right, your tie has to do two things. One, it has to reach at least your trouser button. Uh, you know, you don't want to have a short tie. You want to make sure it reaches your trouser. You know, it, it makes you look proportionally correct. Another thing is, you want to make sure your tie reaches all the way to the top of your collar. You know, where the top button where your collar meets, you want to make sure your tie hits all the way to the top and there is no spacing between your tie and your shirt. If there is, you'll look sloppy as you can see and again, these are free simple tips that any gentleman can follow. Next, this one, this one will require a little bit more effort. Usually what I do is I at least try to do my shoes once every two weeks. Um, you want to keep your shoes clean. It's, it doesn't matter if you're wearing $40 shoes or $400 shoes. Having dirty, you know, dusty, all scratched up shoes does not look appealing. Pass, they, they sell these uh, shoe brushes, again, this, this will take a little bit of investment, but even if you don't have shoe brushes, use a t-shirt to dust your shoes off at least and don't let dust accumulate. And then you're obviously gonna need to buy polish or something to polish the shoe up a little bit. So that's the only one that really will require a little bit money on your end, but you can go to Walgreens if you really don't wanna spend that much and you can buy you know, some shoe polishes there for a relatively low price. And then finally, it's matching your leathers. This is another very simple one. All you have to make sure, you know, if all else fails, you don't even have to be so obsessive that all your leathers match the exact same tone. So if all else fails, at least make sure your leathers are in the same color category. So for example, you're wearing all brown leathers today or you're wearing all black today, you know, and try not to mix a brown and a black. So if you don't want to spend that much money, you know, on making sure all your belts match exactly or accordingly to the color of the shoes that you have, at least make sure it's in the same category. So example, make sure you have one, at least one brown belt and one black belt, no matter the shape, shade, or texture. So at least, you know, you, you have the option, whenever you wear brown shoes, just wear that belt. It looks a lot better than throwing on a black belt. All right, so, you know, if you keep all these tips in mind, it doesn't matter how well tailored you are or how untailored you are, 
If you're not following these tips, you really tend to look very sloppy. You tend to look not put together. And the whole point of menswear is to try to look, you know, presentable and put together. That's what I, we try to, you know, teach here. And, you know, following these tips, very simple things. You just have to keep in mind every time, you know, you get dressed in the morning and you'll look a lot better. So I hope these tips were helpful. If you guys like this video, remember to hit the like up button. Put out two videos every week. Thank you guys for watching.